Okay. Now we're taking off the needle thread knife. Maybe. And throat plate. Okay. In the event that your machine is uh, experiencing a skipping uh, problem or a thread breakage problem, the first thing you should always do would be to check your needle. For burrs on the end and also to make sure that it's not bent. This needle is bent. So we need to replace it. Uh, next, let's check our loopers to see if they have been scratched up. So we will this we will take them them out. I'm taking the spreader springs loose. Okay. Now we'll take the left spreader out and of course the looper. check to see if there's any burrs on the looper. Make sure that the edge is not rolled over on the tip and that the needle is not struck it on the top. If so, we would want to buff that down. Try not to get too much um, or put too much work on the looper itself. Also the same thing here should not be rough. Same thing on the other side. This looper has a little rough spot on it. So we want to buff that down a little bit with some real fine sandpaper or maybe a real fine emery wheel. All right. If you're having skipping problems, one thing that could be wrong is that your uh, spreader opening block is uh, worn real bad. So we're gonna take it and pull it out. Going to take the screw loose. This Allen screw. Pull this pan. And then the spreader block should come out. If it fits has deep grooves here or here, 
Then the spreaders, which right here like so, will not be opening correctly and can cause skipping, possibly thread breaking. The spreader bot block on the left is new and undamaged. The one on the right, as you can see, has been running for quite some time and has very deep grooves cut in it. This could possibly start to cause you skipping problems and maybe the red breakage. Okay. On the left hand side we have the um, looper the, and this is the eyed looper and the spreader and the spreader holder we have the spreader spring there is a right and a left same here looper spreader and spreader holder now we are going to install the spreader cam the spreader cam shaft has a flat on it this must go so that the flat is toward the Allen set screw. Maintaining pressure on the pin, turn the cedar so that you can get to the three millimeter set screw and tighten them. Make sure there is no in play. Back and forth like so. If in play is inside, like so, this can cause for improper spreader open. Opening. Next, we are going to position the spreader cam so that we can tighten the screw on the rod. Adjusting the thread trimmer lever bracket. From the top surface of the bracket to the cast should be 10 millimeters. To make this adjustment, loosen nut here and adjust this screw so that the bracket has the 10 millimeters from here to here. Then rotate the cedar so that the lever here goes underneath the plunger. This measurement from the lower portion of the plunger to the cast should be 11 millimeters. Needle thread knife adjustment. First, Making sure that the throat plate is at the correct height, we will insert the knife and adjust so that the little finger located here is even with the throat plate and does not protrude as it swings over. If this tongue is up too high, this can cause the knife to hang and possibly an E76 error code. If the height adjustment of the tongue is incorrect, 
This could possibly cause it not to pick up on the start. For demonstration purposes, we have removed the throw plate. This adjustment must be made with the throw plate on. But with the throw plate on, you cannot see where the knife is supposed to be. So when the knife moves up to this location, you should have 0 0.5 from the tip of the knife to the surface of the needle. This is done by loosening this screw and moving the knife in or out to achieve that clearance. With the th without the throat plate on the machine, the needle will uh, the knife will deflect the needle. This adjustment must be made with the needle plate on. The needle plate helps support the knife so that we can achieve the proper clearance. When making adjustment on the, the knife, it is very difficult to see the proper clearance between the needle and the tip of the knife. Easiest way to make this adjustment is to raise the machine head back. Move the knife so that it is center of the needle. And then look from the side to see if you have the proper clearance. If the clearance is not correct, loosen the screw, move the knife in or out, until you get the proper clearance, then tighten the screw. Then go back and check to make sure that the 0 0.5 millimeter measurement is in there. Spreader timing adjustment. If this adjustment is incorrect, you may see skipping stitches and possibly breaking thread. First, lower the needle on the inside stroke. As the needle starts down, the spreader will start to return home. Before the needle bar reaches home or its lowest position, the spreader should be stopped moving. As you continue to turn the pulley, the other spreader will start home as the needle goes down. Before the needle reaches bottom, the looper, the spreader should be home. To make this adjustment, loosen the two Phillips head screws located here and the nut located here. By adjusting the screw in or out, we can change the timing of when the spreaders close. The, uh, now we will adjust the needle guard, loosen the allen screw, and position needle guard so that it lightly contacts needle. Then turn cedar. <clears throat> Make sure equal distance all the way around. Now we are installing the left looper. the left spreader 
and this rudder holder. And the spreader spring. Now we are installing the right looper. The right spreader. And the spreader holder. Now the spring. Okay. Make sure that the spring is seated in the little hole located right here. So, check both sides. Now we are adjusting the clearance between the looper and the spreader. There must be a light amount of drag on the thread when this is set properly. Right now this is way too much of a gap. First thing we want to do is check to see if we have up and down play in our spreader. The spreader should be firmly seated down by this uh, spreader holder here. Next, we will loosen our looper and bring it up like so. Then we will check the clearance between the looper and the spreader. There should just be a light amount of drag on it. If you develop skip stitches um, you might want to go back and readjust this. Once you're sure that the clearance between the looper and the spreader is where you want it, or correct, then we must reaffirm that the clearance between the needle and the looper point is correct. Now bring the needle down on the inside stroke. Rotate up so that the looper is in line with the needle. Loosen the looper and brings up so that it, there's just a little bit of clearance between the looper and the needle. Now we are going to do the needle bar height adjustment. Number one, rotate the pulley in rotation direction. 
come down on the inside stroke, bring the looper up so it is like so on the needle. Then loosen the two Allen screws, bring the needle so that the top of the needle eye is at the bottom of the looper, like so. Now, with your ruler, drop your needle bar 2.5. One, two, five. Now tighten the Allen screws. Taking all play, up and down play, out of the two blocks. Rotate the pulley, bring the other looper up, make sure that you're entering the needle the same on this side as you were on the other. Also again, make sure that there's no loose motion between these two blocks. The throat plate should be level with the needle plate. If this adjustment is incorrect, Flagging could occur, which would cause skipping stitches, possible breaking thread. Underneath the throat plate is an adjustment screw. By turning that adjustment screw in or out, we can raise or lower the throat plate to get the proper adjustment. First, loosen the screw for the gimp gut thread guide. Loosen the throat plate screw. Remove throat plate. Using an Allen wrench, go down into the seat of the throat plate where the adjustment screw is located. And by turning the screw in or out, we can make an adjustment. Once adjustment is made, return throat plate screw to the seat, tighten it down, tighten down the gimp thread guide, replace the clamp, move cloth plate over, and check to see if the adjustment is correct. If not, repeat process.